Good morning, everyone. I am Chanchal. I belong to Agra. Uh, as we all know that, my dear friend, uh, today we are here for having group discussion. So let us start the session. As we all know that, uh, brain drain is a situation where uh, brain drain is a situation of migration uh, where skillful and uh, educated people migrate to their country and leave their country to live uh, in another country another country but i think it is not good according to me brain drain has to be stopped because it is not good for the development of a country because many skillful and intellectual people go abroad and serve for the other country uh, but i think uh, uh, they think that they don't have enough opportunity to prosper in their own country uh, but uh, would you like to say something here my dear friend what is your opinion about this point well uh... First of all, my name is Prajwal Pathak and I'm mostly agree with you, but uh, I, I have an answer of this that why they go because as you said, they go for their own purpose, I think for their own individual purpose. Uh, see, practically we think uh, life is all about our, our things, survival. The survival, yeah, survival and they go for money, they go for money because as we know, India don't have enough opportunities because of so many reasons, whether it is population or any skill gap. This is the main reason if someone has improved or progressed his skills, then he can do uh, great things. But India don't have the facilities because as we know, it is a developing country and to fulfill their uh, skills to uh, to apply the his skills in a work, he needs he needs a job that can give him enough opportunities to showcase his skills. So that's why foreign have, they are developed nations. So they have their opportunities. So that's why they go there to show their skills and it, as well as nourish their skills. And it uh, a good point of uh, brain drain, I, I don't call it brain drain because uh, it is good to go abroad and have knowledge and then came back and apply to in India if possible that's my point i agree with him. i agree my friend but uh, i think uh, uh, it is important for us to um, contribute to our country for development uh, like uh, uh, people go every country needs uh, skillful people for the develop of our nation okay so good morning everyone my name is shushan so i agree with prajwal that to apply or to work on that kind of environment, we need to be skilled and we need, we need that surrounding. And I have a question for you that you are saying it's not a good thing. Why it's not a good thing? Because if you are skilled and if you don't have any uh, environment to apply your skill, then why, it's a, why it should be a bad thing? Because if you are skilled, like if you are skilled and one company is paying you 60,000 and other company is paying you 100k, then the which company would you choose? Of course, the hundred k. Well, it doesn't matter that country, that company is in other country or in our country. You choose hundred k because life is about survival. You can't survive in this in this world with love and any nonsense thing. Yeah, money is on top. It is uh, the biggest problem why India is still developing, not developed. Uh, because uh, skillful people go abroad and. Uh, uh, because of uh, Indian brains, foreign countries are growing day by day and uh, this is uh, also our responsibility to develop our, to contribute uh, for the development of our nation uh, and uh, I think the Bharat needs to stop this uh, brain drain because uh, uh, if uh, we want to become Vishwaguru soon then uh, it is very important for us to stop it and uh, according to the report of UNESCO uh, almost 85% uh, percent uh, brain drain is the second sorry India is the second in term of brain drain and around 85% percent uh, um, people go abroad and suffer the other country so I think it is not good so how can we stop that you are saying we should stop how can we stop like uh, our government should provide them good facility for their talent uh, and uh, uh, for uh, they are getting uh, in another country that much status so uh, in this way i think we can reduce it hello my name is Pishan Chaudhary and i am supporting brain drain, her brain drain. as people who have the 
good skill and good knowledge about anything and they went to the abroad for serving their jobs they went there for good income source as to survival as in india we cannot give him the good amount in government jobs more than our president and our president uh, monthly uh, monthly income is 2 and uh, 2.5 lakh so we cannot provide him more than the 2 lakhs rupees but in uh, abroad they get uh, 6k uh, 6 lakh 7 lakh and 10 lakhs per month income so they went to the abroad for doing the jobs and according to them the india's person have more talented than any other countries like if you are talking about isro no not isro it's nasa then mostly the scientists of nasa is indian why because indian people are uh, started learning from the base taking base their control in their hand what about the uh, other countries people they are not uh, having the balance base which help him to improve their talent but in india we are learning in hindi and are many of the previous books like uh, if we are talking about geeta if the person who have the scientist uh, scientific knowledge if he learn whole geeta by their truly meaning then he will become the great scientist i think in the world and if we are talking about how to stop people went from the abroad to develop india then we have to be started stop bribe corrupted peoples because for uh, investing a company in, in india we have to give a bribe in a lakh of rupees or crores of rupees to the government or just who can the local usko gundo ko goons local goons to bribe him and then started our company so what the person think if i am giving a crore of rupees from them i will started my business in the abroad and making a crore of in that place so if the government was trying to stop this kind of things in india then india is also getting developed and people who went abroad for earning more they can make his com- company in india and started earning more so yeah so yeah so when india will get developed because you it's been already many years now there stuff of things will not happen in india that brab and corrupted people are in india so, so we have to start to stop these the things the main reason is uh, the diversity in india because we are seeing that so many years people are fighting on religions uh, when it comes to religion or when they don't have religion they start uh, fighting on politics that's why india is not developing I okay think. as you are saying that the people are fighting for religions and this only the poor people and middle class people was fighting on on these things those person who want to their develop their industries their companies they never fight like that they always take the good person who have better knowledge and better skills they take it from their companies they never think about that they are hindu muslim or any other religious they always take him for their company and to the growth of their company develop best best growth of their company yeah yeah i'm agree most of the points but uh, i don't agree uh, with your one point that uh, you are saying uh, what did you say bobish but i talk about many other points nahi you are talking about bra- uh, something politics related to jobs yes. so government should start uh, stop brave taking right right to the first Uh, to the person who try to implement their business in india who was just born their new company in india the government so if one person start, wants to establish a business they have to do uh, so it yes. is compulsory in india it is compulsory so that's why people are choosing other countries yeah it's true that india don't as we consider don't have opportunities don't have uh, instruments that build that things like machines that's why they go, go abroad because abroad already had that technology india's don't have techno if we compare to mobile phones or any things smartphones or any technology india don't have and yeah, i don't have technology it is almost made by the indian people in the uh, they just establish know, they just uh, sta- what matlab banate nahi hai bas usko resemble they just resembles the thing don't made that thing if they made then there would be more engineers who are interested interested to work in india 
yeah now we can say that india is progressing india is investing in technology as well they have uh, more software engineers now working in our india they have more mncs are interested in india so we can say that it is uh, being uh, i think slowly slowly stop gradually uh, decreasing of brain rate no decreasing the brain rate as we must have discussed they have, they have talked about what is brain drain and they are trying to talk about the topic pros and cons of brain drain but i request them to speak about the topic as she, as she was asked one question how we can stop the brain drain so exactly india is facing the problem that is brain drain people go for earning their bread and butter to other countries so that they can get better atmosphere over there security as well safe place also but some people they go there just because of they were they were suppressed in the country some people they go uh, they go there to just get good opportunities over there so they have to talked about reasons why are they going there but i want them to discuss how we can stop this what kind of steps government should be taking to stop the brain drain can we stop it how to stop this talk about this now we can stop this by so sir we can stop this brain drain by appreciating the talent of the people who are skilled and if we uh, start appreciating then they will not migrate to other countries and other thing is that uh, we can literate the people because it's not governmental thing that government should interfere in this kind of thing because people leave their own country because they are not having a yeah, good environment no when we see when it comes to money people can uh, stay in that because everyone don't want that much money people want environment because if you are literate then you don't if you are literate and you are married then you don't want your uh, don't want that my son will uh, grow up with in this kind of environment that's why people migrate most of the time so we should uh, focus on that thing and also because of the mindset here uh, no one not every profession have respect rather than army in america whether you are uh, you are taxi driver they respect you you are a, a waiter you, you res they respect you but here if you are an engineer also hey you are an engineer so they don't respect you i think they don't have respect what do you think and people have an insecurity also that uh, i am living in that country i am from that religion there might be a chance i am attacked by that other religion my job is in in danger because of my caste that's why people migrate to other country i think so in my opinion government should only try to stop brain drain but it cannot stop brain drain like mandatory form because it is our right in in right to freedom to go anywhere if we are talking about menka gandhi's case of 1930 it was a case of going to stop stop menka gandhi for going abroad and then they cased in the supreme court and the supreme court was says that no one can stop you to going abroad or no no one can stop anyone to going abroad or any places because it is the fundamental right of the person but the government should try to make the things better in india to self stopping the persons in to going abroad like that the person was thinking that why should i go to abroad for doing this if we have the chances or good opportunity to better the things in india so this kind of things helps us to help the people to stop stay in india not going for abroad as i said that because of mindset if you are working in india they don't respect they don't show attention and if you are working abroad then for a vice covered other videos for a while such a ंट्रीडिया you are working in that country then open a branch in india also that india can also grow if you have that much idea and leaving our country is like leaving a mom so it's not a good thing if i give you an example of a movie in that movie a person was doing a job in japan in 10 uh, of years and he established his own company in a japan in a better way and then what he was thinking once they he came back to india for his mother funeral and when they met his uh, 
previous friends and uh, talking about their surviving they started their business in india in a little amount but what happened to them the politicians and the goons and other people who doesn't want to open them the branch they was just trying to take a bribe to them like a thousands of crores and what in the end what happened the heroes all family and their friend was dead because they didn't want to give them a bribe because the person who was living in the outside the country they was thinking that why should i giving a money to the someone who doesn't need that they was trying to help india not a politician not a goons then they are uh, trying to stop uh, give he doesn't want to give the money to them then what happens they uh, send the goons to kill them or to make him destroy. ill or destroy them so that's why the person who living in the abroad or other countries they are not they making the countries in this company in india there is lots of problems in india so first person have to be change their mindset to live in india and also reservation also because of reservation also most of the people don't get job they think that in india there are so many problems as there as we all know that reservation and many more problem they want to get rid of that problem and stretch of stress also that's why they go abroad where they where they can uh, get better opportunity so as the, they have discussed the topic how we can stop them first first thing is that they they talked about they should be given that opportunities over there that opportunity money which is paid over there in a dollars we, we cannot provide that thing in my opinion what i feel a child when a child goes to school and institutions they should be taught the nationalism if they start respecting their nation that the nation that definitely they are not going to leave the country as you can see major dhyan dhyanchand he was offered to play with by other team and he refused that completely because i am not going to play i will represent my country because he used to love his country we all people we respect country but we respect and then this respect goes away when it comes to money or family or bread and butter so we should be having the respect in our mind so that we we should not be leaving the country other hand if today virat kohli is offered to play in our city man another team you know he is number one player will he go will he leave the country he won't at all similarly recently some siddhu or something like that he has left the country he is playing with in south africa team right now in cricket team when he whenever he is asked when he is asked why you left the country why you left because he, he said i was not given a position because already people were playing in the team they did not let me play so and he is good player good fielder also right, right now in he is playing south africa team so there's a problem comes people because of the people who are sitting already on the top they are top bananas over there so they are not letting people come other hand this casteism can be a problem people who suffered a lot in the country they are asked they are, they are told in the name of caste name of religion the people are migrating towards them so we can remove this kind of problem it can also help help you out in schools it should be taught your country comes first then other thing comes but people who are in school they are taught something else and in home they are taught something else there should be equality in education then we can somewhere we can try to control this also other hand companies who are stab well established in the country as it took example so many companies are established if any person who belongs to foreigner he wants to stay in the country in our country then they are threatened completely they are beaten as well their country companies can never establish at one place because monopoly because of monopoly they want their company should go ahead and they, it should be done only that's why they are not able they, are, they don't dare to establish it. so there should be fair security through the make in india pm modi has invited the people must come here invest here and some way it is working also but through making india things are really working as you can see nasa most of the people most of the scientists they are indians doctors are indians so why they have gone there i request them they should come in india they should come back and they should be promoting indian culture they should be promoting india also but positive point in that is that we are representing our nation going there over, over there also and we proudly say that in nasa 60% people are working of their indians if they don't go out of the country then how they will get the ideas then we will not be proud of, proud of anything we should be proud of something which people are working over there we should be supporting them also right now england rishi sunak he has been president over there so our indian countries or uh, our sorry our indian companies our indian companies ready to give the post to the people who are not who are deserving or like that 
so don't you think that nepotism is in the country will that nepotism is there also reason for migration or brain drain if we talk about the solution we uh, we can uh, change or we can uh, amend the education system of india uh, based on practical or uplifting here we are uh, saying that uh, people our education system only focuses on mugging up things theories not do practical things and because of that also in, in most of the students just have degrees don't have experience and skills that's why they got unemployed also and if someone has skills and don't have i think don't have that qualifications so there is a eligibility that you must have that qualification rather than you have skills or not so through uh, through education system we can also change it and uh, if we talk about nepotism as we know in many businesses someone uh, they have we can see nepotism if uh, someone is running business then only my uh, grandson or only only my son will uh, take take care of my company not the other so that's also a, a reason of brain drain because that other person a uh, thing uh, there is a nepotism i can't get opportunity where can i go there is, then he only get uh, left with one option to go abroad thank you